So my name is uh, Gemma Todd, I'm the People and Performance Director for Hallmark Care Homes which is an uh, independent care home provider. We have 18 homes across uh, South Wales and uh, England and we provide um, high quality residential care and nursing care for older people. And Gemma, what was the um, situation you wanted to fix or how come you came to the Solutions Focus? Um, well, I'd known about Solution Focus from a, uh, a previous life when I was working um, in, with a different organisation and I found that the approach was very practical, um, it had very um, immediate effect uh, and for my uh, reckoning it was the sort of thing that people could pick up really quickly. Um, so when I joined Hallmark Care Homes what I had noticed was that we had um, conversations that were just not taking place which was leading to an increase in some of the dissatisfaction that was going on between peer-to-peer -peer or manager to a team member and what I wanted to be able to uh, introduce was, a, was another way of people talking to each other which would be productive and future focused. So what benefits has the business seen from these programmes? Um, well, the, uh, the immediate impact post-training was the fact that it was, I suppose, a, a light bulb moment for many people in the training room that, for the first time, were being given permission to use different sorts of tools. So instead of only ever having the one tool in their toolkit, they were now being equipped with other things that they could use and deploy at different times. And because it isn't a slavish following of any model, it means that they can cherry pick out the pieces that actually support them to positive end. Uh, so that was the first thing, was actually seeing the recognition that, that the managers had that there was a different way to go about things. The second thing I think I've noticed is the, is the sort of the, the positive impact that the people who've been through the training, the positive impact that the change or the shift in their communications has had on others. So there seems to be more of a resolution focus now than perhaps in the past, which was more problem focused and, um, you know, the traffic through the HR door would increase as a result. Um, I think the third thing I've really noticed is, is obviously the, the very obvious one in that we've introduced an appraisal process that has SF at the very heart of it. The fact that, um, you know, people are having appraisal discussions now and talking um, to their team members and inviting team members to share with them their feelings and their views and their opinions and then looking at how they might shape things for the future is a very different way to how appraisal's ever been done where it's ever been done in this company before which was very much about looking backwards and telling people what they had done they had done rather than encouraging them to look forward about what they could do. Mm -hmm. And are there any other business benefits you've seen from taking this approach into the business? Um, well, certainly we've seen a reduction in um, the sort of disputes, if you like, between um, team members where the people who have had the training are able to deploy a, a different set of skills now. Um, there have been some very uh, obvious successes out in the business where people have used an SF approach and have avoided... Um, a bigger dispute which could have led to a grievance or, or potentially something more significant than that. But I think probably the most significant thing that I've noticed is the language that people are using, that people will talk about scaling, they will talk about solution speak as opposed to problem speak. So what came through the training has started to pass into the language of, uh, of daily use amongst those that have been through the programmes.